Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw Mechagodzilla 2021 from the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie. So hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with our Mechagodzilla 2021, we're going to begin up here with the eye. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to make a line that's going to go down and it's going to come up like this. Sort of like a little check mark shape. Next, we're going to make a line that's just going to come down and it's going to curve up for the eyeball. Now, starting right here, we want to go make a line that goes up and it's going to come back. And right here, we're going to make a line that just goes out and it comes down. You want to bring this line down a little farther and go back like this. Next, we're going to take this line. It's going to come up and it's going to run into this one right here. Now, starting back here, let's draw a line that goes down. It's going to come up and go right up to here. Sort of like a little rectangular shape. Then we're gonna draw a line that goes down. It's going to come up and slowly curve, kind of where the jaw would be. Now right here, we're gonna make a line that goes down at an angle. It's gonna come down a little farther and then come right up to here. Starting here, we're gonna draw a line that goes down. I'm going to go over and up and come right back up to here. I'm also going to make a line that goes down. It's gonna come up and connect to here. And we'll make a little line that goes right there to connect. Now, once you've got this part down, then we want to come in here and add part of the arm. I'm going to start here and just make a line that goes down. It's going to come over, up, and across. Sort of like a little rectangular shape. Next, I'll make a line that goes down. It's going to come over and up like this. Right here, we'll make a little line that goes up, over, and back down. Right here, we'll add a small circular shape. Starting here, we'll make a line that goes down, comes farther down, and then we'll bring it up to here. Make another little line, kind of like a rectangular shape here, and a smaller one right there. Now, we're not quite sure what the hands are going to look like on our Mechagodzilla. So, to do this, I'm going to just make a small circle shape. And I want to make a line that goes up, out, and it's going to come down for a claw shape. I'll do the same thing down here. We're just going to make one of these little claw shapes. Next, starting here, we're just going to connect this line. And right here by the arm, I'm going to draw a line that goes down and it will come in just a little bit. Right along here, I'll draw a line that goes out to here and then it's going to kind of angle down. Next, starting up here by the back, we're going to draw a big circle shape. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve down on each side. It'll come in just a little bit and we will curve it back.
Right here we'll draw a line that goes down, goes down and then comes back up into a rectangular shape. Make a little line that curves, it's gonna come up to here. Next I'm going to draw a line that's gonna go down. We'll go over, bring it up, and come right back to here. And I will bring this line up to here. Now for the feet, there's lots of different ways that people have kind of shown the feet. I'm just gonna kind of go with my own style and I'll start with a circular shape right here. I'll make a line that's going to go down. It's gonna come down all the way and come back to that circular shape. Then I'll make a small line that goes down and then comes back here. Over here, we'll make a line that goes out. It's gonna come up at an angle and connect to here. Then a little line that goes out and then comes back up for the back of the foot. And let's connect this line here. Now starting here, we'll just connect this. I'll make a little line that's going to go down and I'm going to curl this up for the tail. You wanna make a line that's going to go down. And I wanna bring this back. It's gonna start out small and it's gonna slowly get bigger as it comes up to here. So we're going to keep this small. You wanna slowly start making this wider and wider as you come out and you're going to bring it all the way up to here. And at the end of the tail, we're gonna make a line that goes up. It's gonna to come to a point, it's gonna go down, and then curve back. Kind of like a big spike at the end. Now, we wanna come in here and add some different details, especially on the body. So one of the things we wanna do is just kinda of break this up into some different parts. I'm gonna go and add a little line that goes down and it's going to come up here and then I'll add another smaller version of that right there. I'm going to draw a line that's gonna come down here and I'll add a couple little square shapes on here. Then we want to make some of the ribs on here. Now to do this, we're just going to make some diagonal lines that are gonna come down. And before we do that, let's just make a little line that goes down to here so we have a place to stop. I'm gonna make some of these kind of start to angle out a little bit to give them a little bit more detail and dimension. Now, when it comes to the tail over here, I want to add some details on here. I'm gonna make some lines that just go all the way down. So let's make some lines that are just going to be about the same width. And I'm gonna add just a slight curve to them. And we'll go all the way down here. And then come all the way up for some details on our tail. Now up here we want to begin adding the spikes. Now he almost has, sometimes it kinda looks like he has two layers of spikes, sometimes he just has one. We're just gonna do one layer of spikes on here. We're gonna start right here at the back of the head and we're gonna make some little rectangle shapes. And as you make these, you want to slowly make them bigger and bigger until they get to about the middle point of the back. Now, once you get to that middle point of the back, then you can begin to make them smaller. And they're going to stay about the same size for a while on the tail, and then they're going to get smaller and smaller as you go down. So let's just finish this up right here at the tail. Now he's also gonna have some of these spikes on the bottom of his tail. All you have to do is make those same little geometric rectangular shapes going all the way down his tail until you get to the very end and just keep making these get smaller and smaller as you go down.
Now, once you are done with all of the spikes, it's time to come in here and add a lot of different details. And there's lots of different ways to do these details. I'm gonna start right here on the face. I'm gonna add some different things. So one of the first things I wanna do is I'm gonna make a line that goes down and I'm going to bring it up here along the face. I'm also going to make a line that goes up and it's going to run all the way to the eye, kind of like where the nose area would be. I'm also going to make a couple little lines come down here along the side of the face. You can add some teeth in here, so give your Mechagodzilla some sharp teeth. And maybe a little line or two right around the mouth. Right along here, I'm going to add some slightly curved lines just to show a little bit of detail. And along here, maybe a square or two just to kind of break up the area a little bit. I'm also going to add some little lines around some of these areas here just to give it a little bit more detail, a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna add a couple little lines along here too, and a little line up here. And then we're just going to maybe add a little line here, a couple little lines coming across here. I'll make a line that goes down and then over. Another one that goes down and over, and then maybe a couple little lines right in here. Maybe a few circle dots for some different uh, things like screws and whatnot. Add a couple little lines here. Smaller circle in there. And a few little lines right along here, just to kind of show where those claws can bend. Right here by the jaw, I'm also gonna add a little circular shape with another one in here. I'm gonna add a couple little small rectangle shapes here. And another little line right about long here. Make a little curved line here. And a little line or two there. We'll add some circle shapes in here just to kind of show where there might be some gears that can move. I'm gonna add some skinny little rectangle shapes here with some more rectangles going the opposite way. Little line here with another one right across here. A couple curved lines across. On the legs here, I'm going to add a couple little square rectangular, rectangular shapes. Some little lines going across here. Another little line going down. We'll add a little line across here. Another circle shape or two. I'm gonna make a nice long curved line that goes all the length of the tail. Show some detail and then I'll also do the same thing right along the bottom too. I'll make it run right along there. You can add lots of little extra details all along here. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. It's all about how you want to add things. I might add a little extra line along here for some detail. You can even add some extra little shapes inside the spikes. Just to give them a little bit more of like a geometric, realistic look. I wanna make this eye go all the way to here. A couple little details in there. And there you go. There is your drawing of a Mechagodzilla 2021. Now there's lots of different ways to draw this and different ideas out there. So this is just kind of my version of this. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to follow along and keep giving me ideas for lots of new videos. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.